Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Robinson Maroon Basketball. Tonight, the Maroons have traveled to Newton for an Apollo Conference game with the Newton Eagles. I'm Jim Kincaid, and on the far side is Dwayne Shaw, and we've got sandwiched between us here, Robinson head coach Tad Everett, so you can't get away from us. Uh, some things to talk about tonight. We're kind of dispensing with our normal uh, introduction, and uh, we want to spend a few minutes with you. We haven't had a chance to do that. I was going to say, it's been so long, maybe we ought to introduce ourselves and uh, <laughs> see who we are. See what you're going to do this season, maybe. Yeah. Everybody's having <laughs> withdrawals. It's been so long since we've had any basketball games. The, uh, the weather has kept school down. Yes. And uh, it shut down practice. Have you been able to do anything at all? Yes, we have. Uh, in fact, we had a fantastic week of practice. We open up the gym, and, you know, those that can get there, get there. And those that can't, we understand. Um, we had a fantastic week of practice. We gave the kids uh, four days off after the holiday tournament, and we did not have good efforts, and uh, our hearts weren't in it uh, at Christmas time. And, you know, we've had a lot of people get down on us, and, um, you know, we've kind of reevaluated at the midway point of the season. And we're a very young team. And and, uh, you know, we've taken some bashings with some key players being hurt. And, and uh, you know, Andrew Sherwood moved away, which would have been a kid that would have participated uh, a great deal. And Dustin's injury and Tyler Devonshire's and Tad Hewlett would have played this year. So we've had four key players that a lot of people don't think about would have been varsity contributors. And we've got kids playing in situations that maybe are playing at levels that they're not – really ready for yet and they're being forced into positions and you know and I don't want people to get down on the kids and we're trying not to it's been tough you know we we feel like we're we're a very young sophomore team playing with varsity teams and these are kids that probably should be playing JV basketball this year and have done a fantastic job stepping up they've taken the opportunity you know but we've been forced into a situation of playing at levels that we're not ready for yet but you know we're not trying to make excuses we're just trying to get better we're trying to improve um, we, we were real happy early in the season with effort. And, you know, I think that kind of goes along when you can't, we don't get wins. You know, sometimes, you know, the, the team's going to say, well, where's the, where's the benefits for all this hard work? Because we've had some fantastic practices. And at the holiday tournament, we didn't play hard. We didn't play well. We didn't play together. And it and, uh, was kind of uncharacteristic of the, this basketball team this year. And we, we understand that we're not the most talented team, but we feel like we need to go out every night and execute every possession. We've played fantastic defense. We, our team goal this year was to keep teams under 60 points, and we've done that. We're right about 54. So we've done it defensively. Offensively is where we've spent the last seven to ten days of practice just pounding offense, trying to come up with better scoring opportunities. And we're going to see if that works tonight. Um, we realize we're going to have to have teams play us man because we're not a strong shooting team. Uh, we don't have an extreme interior post threat, which, you know, you can't get to the foul line. And, and uh, so we realize with the situation that we've been dealt this year, the cards we've been dealt, that we've got to try to win games in other ways. And you've noticed that T-Town, we tried to spread the floor against them and try to take advantage of some of our quickness. And, uh, you know, we're not going to make any excuses for uh, just winning three games this year and try to get better. And our one goal is still the regional. And, you know, it's it's not out of reach unless we say it's out of reach. And, and uh, we would have to play exceptionally well. But, you know, it's only one game. You know, when you get if you get to that championship, it's only one game. And anybody knows what can happen in one game. Well, I think the uh, T-Town game showed some potential of what yes, the guys could exactly. do. It was a heck of a ball game. Um, the holiday tournament didn't give you any breaks when you walk in there with Muhammad no, Seymour, it, it a ranked really team. Did. So, uh, you know, you were you were shot at with <laughs> two strikes against yeah. you, you know, when you walked in there. Tonight's going to be uh, an interesting situation because you're going to meet one of the strongest teams in the Apollo Conference. Yes. Uh, and they, they were state ranked up. early, too. Yeah. Um, you know, we've our last last five ball games. Sullivan, Indiana is ranked third in the state of Indiana. Uh, T-Town uh, has been as low as five. Muhammad Seymour was in the top five of double A before Melton got hurt. Uh, and uh, we played a very good Taylorville team that had been beat by some very good teams. And now we've got Newton who was ranked 11th real early and uh, suffered two losses. But everybody knows they're they're as good as anybody in the area. And Friday you get to play Effingham. Yeah, <laughs> what Friday, could be better? yeah exactly. You know, it, <laughs> can't say anything about their schedule. Right. Can't no, schedule. we we got to take advantage of that though, and we got to realize that that uh, you know if we just keep improving and our kids keep playing hard, that things will fall into place. We're not playing for next year. We're not trying to do that, and we feel like that it's when Dustin got hurt and Tad got hurt, and, you know that hey, let's throw in the towel and just worry about next year. We're not that type of ball club. We, you know, we've had some, some difficult times this year because these kids and myself, we're not used to losing. We don't like to lose and, 
you know, we're not accepting failure, but you've got to accept some of the weaknesses in which we have. And teams have exploited that. We've worked against pressure, and we have really gotten after it. We've had about 10 days of fantastic practice, and we're itching to play. So, you know, we'll see. We'll come out tonight, and we're going to start three sophomores, Justin Hartrick and uh, uh, Brandon and Jeff McKeegan, and then uh, Jason Young's a junior, and then Sean Homer in the, in the post. So... Yeah, coming down your roster, as you mentioned earlier, I think the roster only shows like two seniors, a junior, and the rest are sophomores. Yes. And uh, that's uh, that's something pretty difficult to work with when you're going up against teams that are seniors, Newton especially, five guys on the floor that's been there for a couple of years. Yeah. So uh, experience has got to got to hurt you a little, or help the other team and, and uh, be difficult for you. It sure does, but, you know, uh, there just comes a time, like you said, you know, we, we made that those excuses early. Hey, we're a young team, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to make those excuses anymore because we want to put our best five guys out and we want to say okay our five versus your five if we get beat we get beat and uh, the age difference you know is not going to be a factor for us anymore we want to come out and play you know when we've played our style of basketball and controlled tempo and controlled turnovers we've been competitive um, but when we've gone out and and uh, tried to play open style and, and one pass and shot which you've seen sometimes from us this year and that is a little inexperience we we're not gonna beat anybody and you know that's it's tough because we as coaches have to remember they're sometimes they're kids mm -hmm. and uh, you know that doesn't take anything away from them and uh, I love these kids you know they're they're eager they're young they enjoy the game they're gym rats and it's been fun to be around this year um, even though we've only won three games it's it's been an enjoyable year and as a coaching staff and we're enjoying it and we're just we want to improve we say that each day in practice let's get better today let's get better and they come in every day ready to work we're in good shape uh, we're ready to play I'm ready to play <laughs> <laughs> the long layoff yes. you know this is this has been something yes I really appreciate you taking time to talk to us yes uh, we'll be back in Robinson on Friday night uh, when you take on Effingham, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll uh, evaluate a little more then, and we'll see how we're doing. One looking game at forward a time. to yeah, looking forward to tonight's ball game. It ought to be an interesting matchup. Thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, we'll be back with the uh, tip off of tonight's game here in just a little bit. So don't go away. Well, tip-off will be coming up here in just a couple of minutes on tonight's ball game. That ball game is brought to you by First Robinson Savings Bank, American Legion in Robinson, Rural King Supply, Cellular One in Robinson, Graves Auto Group, Crawford Memorial Hospital, Hershey Chocolate in Robinson, Marathon Tire, Kemper CPA Group, Big Buck Building Center, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. Well, our thanks again to head coach Tad Everett for uh, speaking with us before the ball game tonight. Looking forward to tonight's ball game uh, after such a long break over the holidays, and then the weather has kept him out. Um, he's optimistic. They've had good practices, so um, we should see an interesting ball game tonight. Don't know what shape Newton's in, uh, whether they've been able to practice or not. A lot of schools have different uh, policies to follow during that situation. We'll find out shortly, won't we? Cellular One is now located on the east side of the square in Robinson and ready to take care of all your cellular needs. Stop in and sign up on a qualifying plan and you'll get a free phone, free activation, free evenings and weekends for three months, and free Mr. Rescue for three months. And you'll get double the minutes on the plan you sign up. So don't miss out on this special offer. That's at Cellular One at their new location next to the Pharaoh Appliance Building on the east side of the square in Robinson. Newton is ranked what now, uh, did uh, Coach Everett say? Well, they were ranked, uh, yeah, Something at one like time, uh, they were ranked a little higher than that. They uh, have had, a, a, of course, a, a very good season so far. They started out down at the Capitol Classic in Lawrenceville. We were talking before the ball game. I, I think they won it. Uh, uh, they must have, uh, because the only two games they lost, <laughs> were, according to Coach Everett, were Louisville and uh, Mount Zion. Either one of those were in the uh, Capitol Classic. After the uh, 
break we kind of lost out. There's not enough stories about basketball in the local high school level in the papers around here to keep up on them knowing what they do. <laughs> so we, we have to get re-educated as we uh, we start a second season, so to speak, here tonight after the after the holiday. We've got some good ball games coming up. Uh, Robinson uh, will face Effingham at home this Friday night, and uh, we'll be over at Palestine. Uh, picking them up later here in the month. Palestine's been playing well. They played very well in the holiday tournament. What they got in uh, up at Kansas. Well, they so. got everything in except the final game, I guess. The Saturday night game was iced out to be rescheduled, uh, which is kind of hard to do because I think there were eight teams in the tournament and all eight teams were scheduled to play the last day. So it's going to be hard to get all eight teams uh, agreeing and, and able to play on the same day. Well, we're getting ready for the introduction of the starting lineups here for tonight's ball game. Visiting Robinson Maroons coming in tonight at 3 and 9, 0 and 3 in the conference. Uh, we'll go with guards Jeff McKeegan, number 5, a 5'8 sophomore, and Jason Young, the other guard, wearing number 23, a 5'9 junior. Forwards tonight, Brandon Hardman, number 21, a 6'2 sophomore, and Justin Hartrick, number 33, a 5'11 sophomore. Sean Homer in the middle, 6'4 senior, wearing number 44. So they go with one senior, one junior, and the three sophomores that Coach Everett uh, talks about. They've logged a lot of minutes, and uh, they'll be juniors next year. That's Sometimes that's the best thing you can say about a sophomore, although these kids, uh, they've shown promise. Well, Newton went through some of the same things right. with these kids that are playing as seniors now. Three years ago, a mediocre ball club. And you look and at their roster tonight, and, and they've, uh, they've got uh, five juniors on the roster, and the rest are all seniors. And... Uh, the same token, you look at their record, they're 10 and 2. Sometimes that that's, makes the difference. Yes, it does. 10 and 2, 2 and 0 in the conference. They'll go with Dustin Beerman, number 22, a 6 1 senior, one guard spot. Adam Wolf, number 24, a 6 1 senior, the other guard spot. And the three big guys in the middle will be Jared Jones, a 6 3 senior, wearing 42. Nate Ernest, number 52, a 6 4 senior. And Matt Meinhardt, number 50, a 6 4 junior. So they go with four junior or so, seniors and one junior. And the lineup at 6-4, 6-4, 6-3, 6-1, and 6-1. Considerable size advantage over Robinson tonight. But Newton's gone through these growing pains, too. Uh, the first couple years that uh, Doug Mimosa was here, they, you know, there was one season they didn't win a game, as I recall. And the following year, uh, they won a few, but not many. And uh, people were down on uh, the whole program at that time. But, you stick with him and it happens. Yeah, and, and Doug's done a good job over here with the Newton Ball Club. Uh, he's, he's a class guy. He's been around here a long time. Let's see, did, did you pick up the officials? Uh, did Billy Fritcher, what did you say, Dan Hines, and, and uh, Gerald Mullinax. Mullinax and Parkersburg. Fritcher, I think, from the Vandalia area, isn't he? Greenville, somewhere in that area. And I'm not sure about the other fellow. Working three officials tonight, and uh, Sean Homer and Matt Meinhardt in the center circle as we're ready to go. The Eagles. Control the tip. They'll set up their offense. Dustin Behrman over on the wing, goes inside, shots up and good by Jared Jones. So the Eagles draw first blood. They show full court pressure. Jeff McKeegan will handle the ball. Take it down, guarded by Meinhart. And the ball is stolen, the turnover. Meinhart takes it to the bucket, off no good. Rebound still fought for, picked out of there by Adam Wolf, and the Eagles come back with it. Meinhardt from outside the arc won't go. Rebound by Jason Young. He's fouled over the back by Dustin Beerman. Two nothing ball game as we've we're still in the opening minute here. Apollo Conference ball game. Robinson Maroons and the Newton Eagles. The Eagles uh, didn't have school today. Robinson did. We had kind of a a mixed school session around the area today over in Crawford County. Robinson was open. Palestine was closed. Hudsonville was open. Newton was closed over here, but they still got the ball game in tonight. There's uh, Hardeman with the shot from outside. We are tied at two. Inside, nice pass. A lot Nate of time in the lane. A lot of time. Three seconds, I think they okay. Got Nate Erst got caught. We'll give credit for good defense on the part of the Maroons that time. Justin Hartrick inside on uh, Ernst. Did a good job. Jason Young takes it across the timeline. Now to McKeegan out front. 
Newton in kind of a zone press, and they drop off into a man. Hardeman gets it outside to Hartrick. Whoops. And they cut the wrong way. As McKeegan cut for the basket, and uh, the ball went out of bounds. Give it to the Eagles. They substitute here with uh, Mark Gable coming in. Gable or Goble, how would you handle that? I don't know. Take your pick. Okay, Gable. <laughs> it's easier to say. 6-1 junior, one of the few underclassmen. Beerman gets it over to Jones. Jared takes it in, drops it off outside. Beerman with the ball, guarded by Hartrick. Then Young goes out and picks him up. Maroon's in a zone. From outside, Adam Wolf, three-pointer. 5-2, Eagles now up by three. They show the pressure. McKeegan looks for help, draws a crowd, has a ball stolen on the pass. Eagles with it. Inside, Jones takes it up, blocked, and a foul is going to be called. We're going to shoot two. Well, impress all your friends and relatives with your new Aristocrat Kitchen Cabinets from Big Buck Building Center in Robinson. Big Buck offers free computer design, free estimates, and free in-home measuring. There's no time like the present to get started. You'll have that beautiful kitchen you've always wanted with new Aristocrat Kitchen Cabinets from Big Buck Building Center, 501 South Howard in Robinson. Let Big Buck design a kitchen for you. We make good on the free throws. It's a 7-2 ball game. Eagles out in front. Maroons get it across. Good shape this time. Jason Young drives the lane. Puts it up, pass to Hardeman. Ball's knocked away, and a foul's going to be called. Jared Jones, the guilty party. I take your word for it. This is the location where we can't see the scoreboard on who gets the foul calls. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I'm having trouble going through the goal on the other. <laughs> They've got a great gym, but we're we're in a poor spot. We've we've got problems everywhere we look. Maroons collect on the free throw, seven four seven four ball game. He goes by three, and uh, he stepped out of bounds. So Maroons will get it back. <clears throat> McKeegan will bring it in. Guarded by Beerman, gets it to Jason Young. McKeegan with the ball. Young on the way. Jason drives to the basket, draws a foul as he drew a crowd in there. Let's see who they give it to. 50. Meinhardt, it looks like. Nate Ernest, number 52, checks in the ball game now. Back into the ball game for Dustin Bierman. McKeegan brings it back out front. Now Jason Young with it as my, or as, yeah, Meinhardt comes out to meet him. Brandon Hardeman to Hartrick. Homer, nice pass. Sean Homer got a nice pass inside of McKeegan. They couldn't convert the bucket, but they, they were going the right direction with it. It'll be Maroon's ball out of bounds. Jeff lobs it inside to Homer. Homer's foul. Now that's got to be Adam Wolf. The only one there. Fourth team foul for Newton. Again, McKeegan will bring it in underneath the Maroons basket. And checking into the game as Troy Behrman for the Eagles. As another, Adam Wolf comes out. Another senior off the bench. Homer underneath. Back out front to Jason Young for three, won't go. Boy, a dead rebound. Picked up by Hardeman, that won't go. Rebound, Eagles, bring it down in a hurry to Nate Ernst underneath to Jared Jones, got it. Nine, four. Hardeman, cross court to, to Young and he drags his pivot foot. The turnover will give it back to the Eagles. Eagles. 
Beerman takes it down inside to Meinhardt. Beerman again, Meinhardt again. Troy Beerman this time outside. Shot up and off, no good. Rebound, loose on the floor, picked up by Troy Beerman. Shot's no good. We'll go again with Jones, but he's fouled. So Jared Jones will go to the line for the Eagles to shoot a pair. First Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. That'll make it 11 for Eagles. Jones with eight of those 11 points. Hardeman takes it inside, comes back to the lane with it, drops out to McKeegan. Jason Young inside, a 15 footer, won't go. Hard rebound back, picked up by Jones. Over to uh, Dustin Beerman. When in doubt, say Beerman with this ball club. Jones again. They try Jones. That works too. Going to have a timeout call by the Maroons. 20 second timeout. It's 13 4. And Coach Everett wants to talk to him a little bit before they let this get away from him. For the best deal in tires, stop in at Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson. Your complete car care center. The Maroons will bring it in. McKeegan across the line to, Jer uh, to uh, J can't say it, Jason Young. Crash in the lane, a shot from outside, no good. Long rebound, comes back in the hands of Mark Gable to Beerman. Blocked Locked. and knocked away. Good that defense. McKeegan on that block. Beerman from the outside, shot is short. On the floor is Sean Homer. It'll be Robinson Ball. Good hustle on the part of Maroons. And substitution again here, stop the play. Checking in uh, will be Tyler Linkefelder. That's number 30, you'll see. And also number 32 is, Mar uh, not 32, who came back in? 20. 30, 30. 30. Gable. Mark Gable, all right. Or 30 is Tyler Linkefelder. Yeah, we got him. Get straight here. Well, the shot was put back up by Mark Gable. And a foul's called, and I think Mark will go to the line, probably to shoot two. He's going to. Hartrick gets that foul, his first. Well, we're still in the first quarter here. It's 13-4, the Eagles with the lead. Free throw won't go. Gable at the line. Missed them both. Homer with the rebound saves it from going out of bounds, but he kicks it back in right in the hands of Troy Behrman, and he puts it through. So another bucket for the Eagles. McKeegan handles it, takes it across the timeline. Good pass inside to Hardeman. Nice pass inside by Justin Hartrick, and Hardeman puts it off the glass and in. Maroons get it back, and the Eagles will call a timeout. You know, one thing you can say about January, besides the weather, it's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns 
and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So see Kemper CPA Group. Put Kemper CPA Group on your team. 2.19 to go here in the first quarter. It's 15-6. Eagles uh, lead it, but the Maroons will have the ball when we come back in action. I, I said that. Who called the timeout? Eagles did, but it's Maroons It's out, ball, out of bounds to uh, Maroons, that's right. Maroons will bring it in. Jason Young gives it back to McKeegan. Jeff will work it down. Troy Beerman guards him. Now Jason Young. Hartrick to McKeegan. Sean Bo Homer Slater. on the turnaround. Bo Slater. Or Bo Slater in the ball game. I missed him even checking in, and Bo made his presence known on that turnaround jumper. Nice shot. Jones again. He's got the hot hand to start with here for the Eagles. They ran out of time and the turnover will give it back to the Eagles. A lot of pushing and shoving on that uh, inbounds play. Matt Meinhardt checks back in for Newton. Jones with the ball in the corner, guarded by Hardeman. He goes back outside to Linkefelder. Meinhardt again over to Beerman. From the corner, a three-pointer is no good. Rebound, Jason Young. He hustles it down the floor, takes it inside, and is fouled. Mark Gable. Call for the foul. No, no, I think no it was, that's uh, uh, Dustin, Beerman. Dustin Beerman. That's right. It's a 22 instead of a 32. It'll be out of bounds uh, as uh, Young was fouled on the floor before he was able to put the shot up. McKeegan will bring it in for the Maroons. Now Homer back in the ball game, has the ball. And we've got a foul called, an elbow, and who's that going against? I think it's coming the wrong way. It must be Bo Slater. It is, double zero. So. His first and the fourth team foul. A little over a minute to go here in the first quarter. Eagles ball. Adam Wolf picked up by Jason Young, comes down to Beerman. Trap got this turnover. There goes Jeff McKeegan. Nice job inside by Jeff as he got Wolf out of the way and put it off the glass for the score. 17-10, Maroons come back to within six. Linkefeller back out front, or Linkefeller with the ball out front. Jones, look out. And a foul's called. Well, that's a shame because that ball didn't have a chance of going in. He was way behind the backboard. But Slater got the foul anyway. His second. Two quick ones on Bo here. Jones will shoot two. I don't think he's touched the rim tonight. He's it's having all a net. big night. 13 points so far in the first quarter. Got them both. Substitution now as Gable comes back in the ball game and Jones will take a breather with 32 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 19-10, Eagles lead it. Down in a hurry goes McKeegan, guarded by Meinhardt. Well, Meinhardt at fire at 6-4. McKeegan draws a foul as he drove the lane with Meinhardt. Yeah, quite a... <laughs> Quite an offset. McKeegan is nowhere near 6 4. No. He could go under him. Again, the fouls on the floor will be Maroons out of bounds. We've got to be getting the bonus here for that a while. That was number six, so we'll shoot after this. Comes out deep to Hartrick over to 
Homer. Homer looks inside. Now McKeegan will run the offense. Meinhardt comes out to meeting. Jeff takes the lane, drops it off to J Jason Young. Jason, good pass underneath, but they lose it out of bounds. And the Eagles will have it back. Three seconds to go in the first quarter. Meinhardt goes out. And uh, Jeremy Blake comes in. That's so Meinhardt doesn't do anything dumb and draw a foul here. Time runs out. We played a quarter, and it's 19-10 in favor of the Newton Eagles. Well, we'd like to remind you the Real King supplies your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear and Polar King by key. A large selection of camouflage clothes, plus northerner boots by uh, service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's all at Real King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. And remember, the Graves Auto Group's got a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger, now with four doors, and the F-Series, all now with four doors, the Super Duty and 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, the Windstar, now with dual power doors, all are now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. Well, it's 19 to 10. The Eagles lead it here at the end of a quarter. Maroons have uh, been plagued by some turnovers. That's uh, hurt them. But uh, really, they've handled the ball pretty well against Newton's pressure. Wolf handles the ball and gives over to, uh, lost out on that, and uh, Adam Wolf, they move it around pretty well. Nate Ernst holds the ball out there, guarded by Homer. He drives the lane, that gets a nice pass inside to Troy Behrman. Well, Ernst drew a crowd and was able to dish it off inside for the bucket. McKeegan guarded by Troy Beerman. Inside, good pass. Hardeman's up and in. 21-12. Eagles in front. Full court pressure by the Maroons. Eagles get it down. Gable in the corner gets it back out front to Wolf. Maroons set their zone defense. Jeremy Blake missed the shot, put back up by Beerman. He draws a foul. Don't forget the restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson's open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, E.M. Colder Post, 69 in Robinson. Who got the foul, Jim? I haven't the slightest idea. Jared Jones checks back in the ball game for the Eagles. Homer and Slater trade places as Bo comes into the ball game. Beerman bounces that one off the rim. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Bo Slater. Given to McKeegan and he'll handle it, taking it down, guarded by Beerman. To Young. Jason, 10-footer, won't get it. The uh, Eagles block out well. They had four guys under the bucket for the rebound on that. Did Ernst get that? Troy Beerman. Beerman on the drive. Timeout called. 24-12, the Eagles lead it here. Well, Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency is conducting a foot clinic on uh, Tuesday, January 26th at the Robinson Senior Citizen Center from 9 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock. A registered nurse from Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency will trim and file toenails, apply lotion, and assess feet for any abnormalities. The registered nurse will also instruct each client for proper foot care. There is a $15 fee. To set up an appointment for the foot clinic, call the Robinson Senior Citizen Center before the clinic on July 26th. Call them at 618-544-8811.
That's Crawford Memorial Home Health Agency, a tradition of caring. Well, Maroons will bring it in, 24-12. 6.24 to go in the first half. Jeff McKeegan handles the ball as he takes it down. To Hardiman. McKeegan, again, off to Brandon Hardiman. Whoops. 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 I think he got by with <laughs> he it. He did. Jason Young back out front to McKeegan. Jason drives the baseline, in trouble. Back out to Jeff, over in the corner. Hartrick, back to McKeegan. Good defense on the part of the Eagles here as they shift it real quick. Bo Slater in the middle, turn around. Ah, won't go. Rebound pulled down by the Eagles. They're down in a hurry. Here comes Troy Beerman out on the wing. Takes it out front. Adam Wolf got away with the step. And rebounds pulled, oh, jump ball if anything. McKeegan called for the foul. Let's see, we got uh, Nate Ernst, Ernest at the line, a 6'4 senior. Hard rebound back in the hands of Jason Young. McKeegan will take it down. Young, Hardiman, won't go, rebound Slater, and he's fouled on the rebound. Both teams in bonus here, so uh, Bo will go to the line. Opportunity here with a one and one. First Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Down in a hurry are the Eagles. Wolf. Lakefeller on the wing. They try to go inside. Good job by Slater. And Hartrick was able to pick the pass off. McKeegan to Jason Young. Jason draws a foul. Mark Gable got a little too aggressive. And Jason will go to the line. They need to convert these free throws. They'll keep them in the ball yeah. game. <clears throat> Mick Walton checks in for the Maroons here, uh, along with Dustin Beerman back in for the Eagles. Hardiman will get a breather. 4.42 to go here in the first half. It's 24 to 12, and it's been that way for quite a while. Now Jason will change that, make it 24-13. Got one up. Eagles with a rebound, down in a hurry. Dustin Behrman takes it, drops it off, hit the rim. Jared Jones, look out. <laughs> Young with the ball. Jason, a 15-footer, got it. It's a big bucket. 26-15, but uh, it'd been a, quite a dry spell for the Maroons from the field. Jones kicks it over outside, throws it away. Turnover, give it back to the Maroons. A chance to catch up a little bit here. Brandon Hardiman and uh, Sean Homer check back in the game for the Maroons as uh, Jason Young and Bo Slater will get a chance to rest a little. 3.56 to go here in the first half. McKeegan works against Troy Behrman. 
knocked away. Good defense by Troy. Loose ball picked up by Walton. Good hustle by Mick. Inside. Nice pass. Hardeman got it. Good work. 26-17. Hardeman will draw the foul. Dustin Beerman will go to the line with a one and bonus. You've been too quiet. Have we? Jason Young checks back in here for the Maroons. And Jeff McKeegan will get a chance to rest a little. Let's see. Dustin Beerman at the line. Got that one. Got them both. Makes it 28 17. Maroons get it inbounds. Jason Young, you went the wrong way, Jason. Hartrick across to Walton, back to Jason Young. Nice work on the ball handling. Jason in the middle gets it inside to uh, Homer. Homer. <clears throat> Give Jason an assist and Homer the basket, and then Jason got called over the foul. Coming back, it's 28 19. Maroons played them tough. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. They're quality tires at the right price. Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main and Robinson, your complete car care center. McKeegan back in, Walton out. Rebound Jones, puts it back up and in. Hope Jared didn't play the second half. <laughs> He's probably about at his average now. And made 18 for him. Oh. 10 seconds down. I wasn't watching well, the clock. Not me either, but it seemed quick. Um, experience will help on this because uh, they missed a couple of chances to get it across on the pass. They're looking for a certain spot, certain man. Meinhardt handles it out front now, guarded by Brandon Hardeman. Maroons and a man-to-man. -man. Jones goes inside, shot by Wolf. Up and in, Adam Wolf. Make it 32-19. 2.25 to go, Hardeman gets it across the line. Double teamed, down to uh, Hartrick. And McKeegan. Hardeman. Good screen by Hartrick. Hardeman on a spin move. Won't get the shot. Meinhardt rebound. Eagles down in a hurry. Look out. Troy Behrman underneath to Jones. Nice move. Reverse layup. Up and in. 20 points for Jared Jones. Jason inside, has it blocked. Jones pulls it out of the air, fast break. Troy Beerman gets it back outside to Meinhardt. They pull it up. Adam Wolf will go for three. He got it. All of a sudden, it's Jason Young takes a baseline, drive up and offensive foul call. Matt Meinhart had the spot and Jason was called for charging. We'd like to remind you the Royal King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear, Polar King by key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by service, and lacrosse insulated boots. That's a Royal King Supply, Route 33 east of Robinson. Meinhart. Threw it away. Outside, threw it away, turnover. Maroons get it back. Well, I'll say this, they didn't have school, but they didn't turn off the heat, did they? No, it's hot. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> Uh, 
Hardiman to Hartrick to McKagan. Whoops. Jason Young works against Troy Behrman. Jason found a hole, but kicks it back out to Slater. Hardiman tied up and fouled. I guess it's Adam Wolf. It's a ninth foul. Homer and Walton coming in. Newton uh, is going to get some new faces in here <clears throat> with 317 to go in the half. Jeremy Blake and uh, Matt Bergbauer, I believe. Nope, that's going to be uh, David Fowler. Number 14 checks in for the Eagles. Hardiman comes up short, gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Brandon Hardiman hustled on that one, got two out of it. Jared Jones, they leave him in the game. I'd like to sit him out a while. Blake with it out front, gives off to Linkefelder. Guarded by McKeegan into Jones. Homer's got him. Jones on the turnaround. Won't go. Rebound Hardiman. McKeegan double team. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Maroon's got it. One point eight seconds on the clock. It's 37-21. Long pass down, and that's going to end the half as it overshot Jason Young, picked up by the Eagles. They just held it as time ran out. So we've played the first half here in Newton. It's 37-21 in favor of the Newton Eagles. Well, it's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA Group on your team. And don't forget, the Graves Auto Group has a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger, now with four doors, the F-Series, all now with four doors, the Super Duty in 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, the Windstar, now with dual power doors, and all are now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. Don't forget that Hershey Chocolate in Robinson, a part of Crawford County, and proud to support the students of the community in their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate and their Robinson plan. Speaking of food, you can eat Hershey for dessert, but for the main course, why you can just go down to the restaurant at the American Legion. They're open, on, uh, they're open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner. Sunday's for lunch. That's the American Legion EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson. Well, it's a 37-21 halftime lead by the Newton Eagles here at Newton. Robinson uh, has played a pretty good first half. When you look at the score uh, with the spread, may not... You may not think so, but their score really doesn't depict the type of ball game that Robinson's played. They've been plagued by turnovers. They've had several here the first half, but they've played a hustling, aggressive type basketball. They played good defense, uh, a little short on the offensive side, but uh, they know what they want to do, and they're working hard to get it. When do you want to do this? Do it now? Do it now. Okay. okay. What totals. do you think I've been talking? <laughs> <laughs> totals for the first half, as Jim said, Robinson trailing 37-21. Uh, Brandon Hardiman with 12 points, leading scorer for the Maroons. Three points for Jason Young. Bo Slater with two. Uh, Jeff McKeegan with two. Uh, here we go. Uh, Sean Homer with two. That was the other two. Committed 10 team fouls. Uh, two on uh, Slater, two on McKeegan, two on Young, two on Hartrick, one each on Homer and Brandon Hardiman. For Newton uh, with 37 points, most of those coming right into the middle, middle with Jared Jones uh, scoring 20 of them, eight points for Adam Wolf, seven for Ter Troy Beerman, and Dustin Beerman with two. Uh, committed nine fouls, and here's where we're guessing is the foul situation. We know how many, <laughs> but we don't know where they went. Exactly who to. <clears throat> we got, I think I have Adam Wolf with two, and uh, Jared Jones with two, Matt Meinhart with two, uh, Gable 
Uh, Dustin Hardeman and Troy, or Dustin Beerman and Troy Beerman with one each. Rebounding, uh, Newton on top, 16 to 10. Turnovers, uh, Robinson with nine, Newton with seven. So it's 37 21 halftime. And we'll take a little break now and we'll be back with second half action here in just a little bit. So don't go away. With over 40 styles to choose from, Aristocrats got what you're looking for, and Big Buck is the place to find it. With our free in-home measuring and personal consultation, Big Buck offers the best of both worlds, a style of your liking and the expertise to help plan your own dream kitchen. So why not call today at 544-2138 and let Big Buck show you how cabinets become a kitchen. Big Buck Building Center in Robinson, helping you do the job for over 70 years. Maroons will have the ball as we open up the second half. McKeegan out front. Now Young, all inside, good passing. Bo Slater, turn around 10-footer. Oh, won't go, but he got the foul. Needed that bucket with the foul, but Bo will go to the line to shoot two. We, all, we think that's number three on uh, Jared Jones. Well, if we were lucky, it'd be four. <laughs> Don't think so. Uh, Bo rattles it around and finally gets it through. Bounces that one off. Rebound. Loose ball picked out of there by Jones. Eagles got it. 37-22. Sharp pass. Meinhardt. Ten-footer. Got it. Good pass from Dustin Beerman that time to Meinhardt. They set their full court pressure. McKeegan gets double teamed in the middle to Hartrick, down court. Brandon Hardeman drives the baseline up in a crowd. Won't go, in and out. Meinhardt again, moves inside, off the glass and got it. That's two in a row for Matt Meinhardt. He was quiet in the first half, did not score. Got it again, has it blocked away. Hardeman this time. Brandon brings it across the line. Meinhardt guards him. Inside to Slater. The turnaround shots up. Rolls off. No good. Loose ball. Picked up by Jason Young. Good hustle by Hardeman that time to keep it alive. McKeegan. To Young. Out of bounds. Maroons oh. will keep it. I wonder. I think they got a break. <laughs> I do too. From our vantage point, I think Justin got his fingertips on it. That's all right. We got her now. Or Jason. McKeegan. Jason Young guarded by Meinhardt. Into McKeegan. Fouled over the back by Dustin Beerman. Nope. Nope. Turnover. Turnover knocked away. Well, I thought he was going to call a foul. What? I wonder what he did. Well, the Eagles got the ball anyway. Dustin Beerman. And he's guard, or has fouled out front by Jason Young. We're in the second half, third quarter, actually, just underway. 41-22 the score. Newton Eagles on top. It's their ball. Meinhardt will bring it in. In the backcourt to Beerman. Well, let's see. Jared Jones wound up with it. And the foul is going to be called underneath. Brandon Hardeman is second. But it's not a shooting foul, so it'll be out of bounds. Back inside to Meinhardt. Got it. Meinhardt's come out with a hot hand with three buckets in a row. 43-22. McKeegan double team to Hartrick, down to Brandon Hardeman. Brandon uh, works, brings it back out front to McKeegan. Jason Young and Jeff McKeegan. 
Jeff drives the baseline, short jumper over everything, knocked out of bounds, and a foul's going to be called on uh, Justin Hartrick on the rebound. So I, Newton will have it again. I think that's number three on Hartrick. Holmer's coming in for him right now, so maybe we're correct. No, no he's coming in for both later. Okay. Good pressure by the Maroons. Eagles get it down. Oh, good pass underneath to Nate Ernst. And they broke that or broke that press well. Maroons turn it over. And the Eagles have it back. Bearman handles it. Jason Young guards it. Ernest out front. Now Beerman, Meinhardt from 15. That time didn't go. Jared Jones is there, though, with the rebound. He puts it up, won't go, but he's fouled. Homer, I expect, is going to be guilty. They'll shoot two. Tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by the First Robinson Savings Bank. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Mr. Jones rolls them in. Make it uh, 40, was that 47 or 40, mm, 47. 47? Turnover. Newton with it back. Ball knocked loose. Meinhardt picks it up, pass back out front to Beerman. Jared Jones got the shot. Actually, it was Wolf to Beerman, or Wolf to Jones. Hardeman moves inside, gets the shot up. It rolls in. Let's see what happens. No on the floor, he says. And it'll be out of bounds to the Maroons. before the shot, so the Maroons will have it out of bounds. Into the game comes Tyler Linkefelder for Newton. And uh, let's see, both Ernst and Adam Wolf sit down. And let's uh, see, I guess that must have been Troy Beerman also that came in for the Eagles. For the Maroons, uh, Homer Hardeman. Slater and McKeegan and Young on the floor for the Maroons. Jason Young with the ball. Jason, 15-footer. Got it. He drilled that one. Long dry spell that time, 49-24 for the Maroons. Down court in a hurry. Linkefelder cross court to Meinhardt. Got another one. Matt Meinhardt's had the hot hand for the Eagles here in the third quarter. He's got eight. Back to McKeegan. Jeff gets it across the timeline. Linkefeller guards Young. Hardeman with the ball. Brandon makes the move. Loses it. Eagles pick it up. Dustin Beerman goes down. I've not seen anybody set a screen tonight on the uh, I tell you, Sean Homer just took it away <laughs> right out of the hands that Everybody time. Everybody kept waiting for the whistle. No, but it didn't happen. Now we've got a timeout call. Um, it's going to be a, um, I think, a Robinson timeout. Yeah. <clears throat> Must On be full. The, uh, we should do a big commercial. The, the thing that I'm seeing is nobody setting a screen, and it looks to me like the opportunities are there. And, uh, but nothing's happening. <coughs> well, Maybe. Young got a nice screen from uh, Homer, I think, in the last basket at the top of the key. Well, for the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. 
We got 3.18 to go here in the third quarter. Maroons uh, down now, 51-24. <clears throat> They've played hard. They've had a lot of turnovers tonight. I don't remember what you have in the first half. Yeah, they had nine in the first half, five so far in this quarter. But they're playing hard. They've played aggressive. And uh, Newton, a good defensive ball club. They're quick, and they put the pressure on. McKeegan gets it down, good shape. Jason Young over here on the side, right in front of us. McKeegan on the far side, looks for help. Back out to Jay, or to uh, Hartrick. Hartrick tries to go inside, and Jones steals the ball on the pass, rolls on the floor, but they get to keep it. Meinhardt again, look out, 10-footer, won't go. Loose ball picked up. McKeegan and uh, Beerman go after it. We've got a jump ball called, and I think it's going to stay eagle ball on the possession. Brandon Hardeman checks back in for the Maroons, as does Nate Ernest for the Eagles. Here comes Wade Scheimer for McKeegan. 2.43 to go in the third quarter. Adam Wolf <laughs> making a lot of changes here, one at a time. I think one of them just went in to wipe up the floor. <laughs> Wolf handles inbounds pass. Good solid screen there. Loose ball, Wolf picks it up. Blinkefelder out front. Meinhardt again, drives the baseline. Hardeman fouled him. Number three on Hardeman. Matt Meinhardt will be at the line to shoot two. Graves Auto Group has a variety of Ford products to choose from. The Ranger now with four doors and the F-Series all now with four doors. The Super Duty in 44 different models. The Expedition, the Explorer, the Windstar. Now with dual power doors. All are now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. <clears throat> Let's see, we had some substitutions come in there. Meinhardt sinks the second one. The Keegan Scheimer Young Homer and Walton on the floor for the Maroons now with 2.20 to go here in the third quarter. McKeegan takes it inside, has it knocked away. Down in a hurry, there goes Beerman. Up, missed the shot. Foul's gonna be called on uh, Wade Scheimer as he took him in all the way. Troy Beerman will go to the line to shoot two. Well, they missed that shot, so they made made points on that any way you look at it now. Missed, missed them both. both. So what, now we can call it a good fight. McKeegan will bring it down for the Maroons as Behrman picks him up. Cross to Scheimer. Back to McKeegan. Jason Young. They collapse on him in a hurry. Back out front to McKeegan. Yeah. And stolen out of the middle by Nate Ernest. The pass off to Troy Behrman, and he's got the bucket. Troy Behrman with the basket, 54-24. Newton Eagles. Double team, but he gets it across the line to Jason Young. Scheimer on the wing, quickly picked up by Lincolnfelder. Wade gives to Mick Walton. Mick works inside, back out to Homer. Now McKeegan has it. Wolf all over him. Wade Scheimer inside the line, doesn't go. Wolf with a rebound, Eagles will take it down in a hurry. Linkenfelder back to Wolf inside. Good pass. Nate Ernst with a bucket. Adam Wolf saw him under the basket and shot a bullet into him. Scheimer 
Mick Walt uses his body well, gets a pass inside to Young, but uh, what do we get here? Traveling. <clears throat> Traveling on Walt before the pass. I have no idea. Traveling against Newton. Oh, okay. I didn't. I couldn't see that. I kept looking for another official, and I couldn't see him below it. Maroon's ball. Jeff McKeegan for three. Won't go. Meinhardt with a rebound. Wolf. Pass inside Ernst. Puts it up and in. Scheimer tries to go into Walton, loose ball. We've got a jump ball called the, uh, let's see, Maroons ought to get to keep it on the possession arrow. Scheimer will bring it in. McKeegan guarded by Beerman. Mick Walton has it knocked away from him and he's fouled. Foul will go against Adam Wolf. And the Maroons will take it out of bounds. 12 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And checking into the game is Dustin Beerman for Adam uh, Wolf for the Eagles. Now we're ready. McKeegan back out front. Shoots one inside, nobody there. A little over seven seconds on the clock, 7.8, Eagles ball. Homer, back to McKeegan. We run out of time. And we've played three, score 58-24 in favor of the Newton Eagles here. Well, not a very productive quarter for the Maroons that time. Only three points. We'd like to remind you the Royal King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear, Polar King by key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's all at Royal King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. And don't forget that uh, this time of year brings tax filing season. The Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulation, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. Put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Don't forget the restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson is open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, EM Colder Post 69 in Robinson. Tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by Hershey Chocolate and the Robinson plant where they manufacture Heath, Milk Duds, Sixlets, Paydays, and Whopper candies. That's Hershey Chocolate and Robinson. Fourth quarter underway. <coughs> Newton Eagles with the ball. A drive to the basket by Dustin Beerman. Results in a foul. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Off, rebound, whoa, they kept it in bounds. Eagles keep it, nice pass inside. Mark Gable with the bucket. 60-24. McKeegan brings it across. Hardeman. McKeegan again. Jason Young drives around Fowler. Cross court to Hardeman again. Brandon takes it inside. Looks for help, gives to Slater. Bowe's got the shot up, no good. Rebound, loose ball. Picked out of there by Gable. Eagles down in a hurry. Linkenfelder picked off by McKeegan, but momentum carried him out of bounds, so the Eagles will keep the ball.
Gable back out front to Beerman. Jared Jones underneath to Linkenfelder. Linkenfelder was so wide open, he didn't know what to do with it. Bounced it off the glass. Partially blocked by Hardeman, I Hardeman think. Hardeman get a hand on it. Hartrick, good job. Drills a 10-footer. Beerman takes it to the lane, kicks it back outside. Shots off, no good by Gable. He picks up his own rebound, back across to Beerman. That one is a three. Jason Young. Need to look for some threes here ourselves. Jason inside the arc. Back up and in, nice job Bo Slater on the rebound. Linkenfelder with the ball, kicks it back out front. Fowler inside, Linkenfelder again, won't go. Ball tipped outside, good work by Hardeman, picked up by Hartrick. McKeegan will bring it down, now to Brandon. Brandon, spin move inside, gets the layup. Nice drive. Partially blocked, picked up by McKeegan. Good defense. Jason Young inside, got it. Good hustle. Linkenfelder, double team, gets it across to Fowler. Fowler cross court to Beerman. Beerman in the lane. He's fouled, he'll go to the line to shoot two. First Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. 116 years of, of meeting the financial needs of our area. Rebound picked up and in by Mr. Jones. When did he come back in the ball game? <laughs> Just in time. They always send him downtown. 66-32, Eagles lead it. Hardeman works inside, looks for help, needs some help, tries to go to Walton. Mick picks it up and in. Good job by Mick Walton for staying with it. He had it knocked away, but uh, was able to regain control and put it off the glass for the score. Matt Bergbauer in the ball game, number 44, you'll see. There's Beerman. Takes it to the lane, up, got the shot. Hardeman drives inside, gets loose, got the shot. Good job, Brandon Hardeman, 68-36. A little over four minutes to go in the ball game. Bergbauer throws it away. Maroons get it back. A chance to pick up some points here as Bo Slater and Jason Young check back in the ball game for the Maroons. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Let's see, we got a timeout out there, haven't we? Yeah, <clears throat> got a little ragged for Coach McMoser. Is that a full time? I'm probably. Yeah. What I was doing here was trying to uh, pick up our calendar and be able to get some ball games checked out here for you. Uh, one thing we're going to have to watch with the weather, uh, we've had so many cancellations and changes, the schedule is going to change quite a little bit. One thing that uh, we will try to uh, get together, and you'll have to watch uh, Channel 12 and also uh, the papers and the radio for the Shrine game. I'm sure they're going to try to get it rescheduled as soon as possible. That's the uh, the Shrine game out at LTC between Palestine and Hudsonville, and they'll be working to try to put that together and get it rescheduled here as soon as possible. So uh, be aware and keep your eyes open for the rescheduling of the Shrine game out at LTC. 
little discussion on the floor and um, forgot who had the ball, I guess. So Maroons couldn't prove it by me. Well, they were all gathering at the free throw line and it was a Newton turnover that caused the timeout. Four minutes to go in a ball game. Jason Young handles it for the Maroons. Jason from 18 feet. Jared Jones, look out, he'll take it in. Dumps it back off Bergbauer. Won't go. Bo Slater. An authoritative rebound. Jason Young. Bergbauer on him. Jason takes him to the hoop. Let's see how they call it. And it's going to be a blocking foul, I think, yeah, between I think on, uh, right. Bergbauer. It and is. it is. That should send Jason to the line to shoot a pair of. Well, coming up Friday night anyway, Robinson and Effingham, and that'll be in Robinson. No, no rest for the Maroons as the uh, Flaming Hearts from Effingham come to town. <laughs> Walton goes out. Jeff McKeegan checks back in. Jason's got it. Make it 68-40. Good pressure by the Maroons. Eagles got it across. Sean Homer with a foul. Got to look down to uh, get Number 40, Shannon Hellregel. I didn't see him come in. I had to practice that one. Jared Jones will be at the line to shoot two. He doesn't need any help. Blinkefeller checks back in the game for the uh, Eagles. Now Jared Jones takes the seat with 28 points. Maybe we won't see him the rest of the night. <laughs> 70 to 40. Eagles lead it. Hardeman tries to work inside. Linkefelder tries to guard him, and uh, Brandon on a fadeaway is foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency is conducting a blood pressure clinic on Tuesdays, January 19th at the Newton Senior Citizen Center from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. A registered nurse or a nurse's aide from Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency will be available to take blood pressures on the third Tuesday of every month. No appointments are necessary and walk-ins are welcome. So for more information, call Crawford Memorial Health Care Agency at 546-5461 or toll-free at 888-888. 546-5461. Crawford Memorial Health Care, a tradition of caring. Never gained a thing on that, did we, to get the second one? Made the second one. Make it 70-41. Full court pressure. And uh, there goes uh, Linkefelder and the give Hellregel. to Hellregel. Makes the bucket. Let's get on the floor. We've got Wade Scheimer directing the offense out there. Um, Russell Meskimen in the game, along with um, Stuart uh, Shuddy. From outside the arc for three is Linkefeld. Let's see. I'm missing a couple here. Um, number 31 is Russell Meskimen. Number 40, I don't have. That's Do the you? one we don't have. We can't look at an old scorebook because we start a new one tonight. Yeah. What do we have here, fam? Yeah, Mickey Walton's in there on the floor. And uh, let's see. Who got the foul? 34 or 44 or 14? I saw the last number. Yeah. 
I don't guess it makes much difference at this stage of the game. Walton with it out front. Mick takes it inside, clears the way. <laughs> <And travel. laughs> they call him for traveling. But he, he made his own way to the, uh, the bucket that time. Let's see. Dig back in the archives here. But inside for the score is Jeremy Blake. You know, I haven't found it. I haven't found a number 40 listed in the book here anywhere, period. Shuddy's fouled. Stuart Shetty will go to the line to shoot a one and one. It's got to be Tim Gallion. <laughs> I don't think it is. But you don't think so, number 40? It's only 40 I've got. Down court. Bucket's good. Fouls called. Mickey Walton. Shannon Hellreger will go to the line. Walton will draw the foul. Which way are we going? I think he called a hell ball, Robinson possession. What's going on? Tony Clark just walked by. I thought he ran everywhere he went. I did too. It's the only time I've ever seen him walk. Eagles pick it up. Back down in a hurry. And taken away by Stewart. Stewart shutting and gives it to Scheimer. Scheimer brings it across the timeline. Loose ball again, knocked away, picked up Blake. All the way under for the score is uh, Shannon Hellrego. Well, that'll end it. Final score will be 81-43. An Apollo Conference win here for the Newton Eagles. We'll have the totals coming up here in just a second. I'll fill in with some commercials as Dwayne quickly does his figuring. Tax filing season again. And the Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA Group on your team. And uh, let's see, we'd like to, oh yeah, how could we forget this time of year? Real King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear and uh, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's all at Real King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. 
Graves Auto Group has a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger now with four doors, the F-Series, all now with four doors, the Super Duty in uh, 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, and the Windstar. Now with dual power doors, they're all available at Graves Auto Group and Robinson. And don't forget that Hershey Chocolate is proud to be a part of Crawford County, and they're pleased to support the students of the community in their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate and Robinson. Well, we'll have the total of tonight's ball game here in just a second. Coming up, Friday night back in Robinson with the Flaming Hearts from Effingham. 6-15 will be the JV game. And uh, next week on Tuesday night, we'll have Palestine at Oblong on the 19th. <coughs> Scheduled for Saturday the 23rd, LTC and Wabash Valley will go at it out at Lincoln Trail. Keep in mind that there's going to be some fill-in games here in between uh, in trying to complete the schedule because of the uh, weather cancellations and postponements. Final of the game, 81-43, Newton on top. Uh, 81 points, and Newton only had one player in double figures. That's kind of unusual, but everybody knows who that was. What, wasn't the Jones kid, was Jared it? Jones with 28, including 10 for 10 from the line. He had a super night. Nine points for Torrey Beerman off the bench. Dustin Beerman with eight. Adam Wolf with eight. Tyler Lingefeller with three. Mark Gable with two. Blake with two. Shannon Hel Hellregel, your favorite guy there, with six. <laughs> And Matt Meinhart with nine, six points from Nate Ernest. 15 for 26 on the line, four three-point baskets. Robinson uh, with their 43 points, had two players in double figures. Uh, Brandon Hardeman with a 17 and Jason Young with 11. Five points for Bo Slater off the bench. Jeff, uh, Jeff McKeegan with two. Stuart Shetty with one. Two points for Justin Hartrick. And two points for Mickey Walton. And Sean Homer with two. Eight for 13 from the line. Uh, no three-point baskets. Uh, I guess you'd have to say Newton pretty much dominated every phase of the game, uh, leading rebounding 28 to 16 and turnovers. I have Newton with 13 and uh, Robinson with 23. So it's 81-43. Uh, Robinson now falls to what? Uh, three and 10 and 0 and three in a conference, 0 and four in a conference. And Newton climbs 11 and two and three and 0 in the conference. Well, I think as coach Everett said before the ball game, um, he was he's been satisfied with the effort. I'm sure he's he's proud of the effort tonight. The kids played hard. They played aggressive defense made a lot of mistakes. But uh, again those mistakes a lot of times were forced by the defense of the Newton Eagles. You got uh, seniors against sophomores basically here and uh, the experience the age difference tells. So uh, I the Robinson Club I think is is um, shaping up. I'd like to uh, order my seats right now for the regional for this area with Newton. Teotop with St. Anthony and Louisville. Oh, be a day. All involved. Be a day. I assume they'll be all in the same regional. And that's not too far away. No, it isn't. But Friday night, we'll be back <laughs> in Robinson with the uh, Maroons and Effingham Flaming Hearts. Tune in, watch the ball game. We've had a good time for Dwayne Shaw, Ron Wheeler. I'm Jim Kincaid.